Hello, Tyler Disney here. I wanted to show you a cool new technique I figured out for managing duct connections in families. So here I've got an air handling unit. It's got an outdoor air duct connector, return air, and supply air. Uh, I'm gonna go into edit family and show you what's going on here. So each of these connectors, both the duct, uh, these coil connectors, electrical, and the condensate drain, they're all nested extrusions. So I'm gonna explain how that works, but what it means is that Let's say I want this uh, return air connection uh, on the bottom because it's more of a rooftop unit, right? I just, with the extrusion selected, not the duct connector, but the extrusion selected, I click pick new and I can just <laughs> slap it on the bottom just like that. It's easy. Uh, now it, it points in the wrong direction sometimes. So just flip it around uh, and I can do that with the supply air. Again, I got to get that uh, extrusion selected, pick new. I can hit tab if I want to rotate it select it, make sure it's pointed in the right direction. Uh, and yeah, I've just changed the face on which my duct connectors are. I didn't have to create a whole new family. I didn't have to have a whole bunch of parametric garbage in there. Now I just kind of slap those in there. And so if I want to get them all nice and aligned, you know, I'd go into a side view. I'd use the align tool to align the extrusions. Here we go. All right, those are all aligned. And uh, now in this family, so, so the location is not driven by parameters, uh, but the dimension is. So I come in here and I can set my return air connection height to, you know, whatever, three foot, the width to 18 inches, the supply air, that's, um, I don't know, 18 inches by whatever, five feet. All right, hit apply. So that's going to update those. Uh, I could do the same with the uh, outside air if I wanted to. And it's the same deal with the coils. So let's say I wanted, this isn't actually a right-hand unit, or the, I want the coil connections on the left-hand side. Just select that extrusion, hit pick new, scroll over there, and bam, there it goes. Uh, it's so easy. And if you need accuracy, like per cut sheet, if you're at LOD 300, you can do that. So let me show you real quick. If I go into front elevation and I'm, and I'm looking at my cut sheet and I know that this, uh, that this return air duct connector is whatever, 13 inches from the left-hand side, I can do that. Just use dimension tool and then tab, hit that right there. Then I come back and I select that extrusion. This becomes editable and I can say, I don't even remember what I said, 13 inches, uh, enter. So, so I, can still, I can still make this just as precise, uh, as precise as I need it. Um, or I can also just quickly update this. So ah, this, is, this is kind of a game changer for me, to be honest, um, I don't know. Maybe this one's further, it's 27 inches, something like that. Uh, this is kind of a game changer because it just makes this equipment that you used to have to spend so much time digging through the internet and waiting for reps to get back for you for, for rooftop equipment is it can be all over the place, right? But now we've got the control. We can do it with this technique. We can just with this simple box, we can make any kind of equipment we want really quickly. Now there's a little bit of a danger of it. You can overwrite stuff. Again, this is not a parametric family. So when you, if you grab a family that's in your, in your project that works like this, you need to do a save as. So I'm gonna do that here, I'm gonna demonstrate it. So I'm gonna save as, and I'm gonna call this, you know, uh, in, uh, now it's an RTU unit alpha, whatever. And then I can load it into the project and boom, there's there's my new family. Um, so let me, let me explain a little bit in more depth what's going on here. So these are nested, as I said, these are nested families. So if I've got that, I've got that extrusion selected, I'm gonna say edit family. So what I did is I created a new face-based family and I just, I just created a box, the simplest box you can get. I gave it parameters for connection width, connection height, and um, also connection uh, thickness. I didn't need a reference plane for that one. Uh, and then just loaded it into the HU project. Uh, it, it's this. So if I wanted, let's say I wanted to add another coil connection onto this family, I, uh, another duct connection, I could just click and drag this nested family and boom, I've got another one. I could create a duct connector, add it onto there and set the parameters however I wanted. This is really a powerful technique. I'm, I'm quite enthused about it, as you can no doubt tell. I learned this technique from Ryan over at MEPGuy.com. If you're not following his stuff, you should be. I just wanted to share that technique with you. I've built this technique into my new family pack, which you can find on mepguy.com. Uh, I've got this air handling unit. I've got an HRV. I've got an RTU. Um, and then I've also got a bunch of other families uh, that don't need that technique. Uh, I've got uh, VAV boxes and the magic boxes and a 
fully parametric louver and a, and uh, some diffusers and a bunch of other stuff. I, I basically built the air side pack that I need. Now that I'm back in the Revit game, I, I just knew I needed an air side pack for what I was going to be doing. So I built it and it's now for sale on MEPGuy.com if you want it. Um, but anyway, I just really wanted to share that technique with you because it's, it's, it's a game changer. And again, if you're into editing families, you can make this pretty easy. Like this family is a box with other little boxes that are nested into it, duct connector slapped on them, and then pretty much same, same for the coils. So it's pretty basic. It would be a great learning project if you're getting into family creation. And um, if you're not into that, if you're swamped, you can of course buy this pack. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful. And if you come up with any cool families, please send me a screenshot. I'd love to see what you come up with. All right, cheers.